Hi guys, welcome back to Odun La Rouge Mystical Channel. This is Huga Chris. I hope everybody's well out there. We have another video that we're going to do today. To hopefully, whoever's watching this video has already, already either subscribed to my channel or has either been following me and looking at the videos. If you're trying to learn something from me or whatever it is that I'm doing and I'm showing y'all, I strongly suggest that you watch the previous video so that you could see exactly where it is that I am so that you can start to make sense of it for yourself, okay? Because I have some uh, follow uh, people that I follow as well here on YouTube, and I make sure I subscribe to their channel so if they are doing new videos or they're showing new things, I could be aware of it and watch it from there. Um, let me say hello to my Haitian viewers and then I'll start and we'll go from there. Hello, bonsoir tout le monde. Hougan Christophe est là, au dans la rouge, Mystic Channel, welcome. Qui j'a tout le monde est derrière, tout le monde est là, tout le monde est là, tout le Bonsoir, bonsoir. Et, um, je dis un mal fond l'autre vidéo, mais ça m'a fait que j'ai dit, 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 et puis c'est première fois y a problème dans bagaille là moi dis nous mais s'il vous plaît allez dans l'autre vidéo côté où t'es même t'as fait l'autre bagaille pour qu'à joindre moi même gens pour nous gagner petit papier nous petit laisser nous pour nous qu'à ouais exactement qui ça m'a montré nous et puis qui l'est m'a montré bagaille là so c'est ça m'a pris mais nous pour nous faire also allez dans et website moi à www au dans la rouge d'accord pour nous voir qui est ce moyen, quand est sorti, qui j'ai de travail moins fait, et combien et 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 bah y a coûté, bon ici bon l'autre bon. Qu'on y a un pal et changer tout ne changer pas dans la langue, pas le parler dans l'anglais pour tout le monde qui comprend. Ça m'a dit. Okay, I was just explaining to them as well is that if you're not aware of who I am and you want to know. Please visit my website at www.oldonlawouge.com. You'll get a biography. You'll get what type of work I specialize in and my prices and so forth and so on. So if you're not familiar with me, haven't watched the previous videos, again, I'm going to say I encourage you because I want you to get used to how I do things and how I talk. So when you see I'm talking a certain way, you'll say, okay, yep, this is what he said, this is what he did in the last video, and so forth and so on. Uh, before we get to the, the, the class today and what we're talking about, and, oh, and to let you know, please make sure you have your notes from the previous videos if you are following me, because you're going to need them, especially today. Today we're getting ready to go into what happens when two suits fall with each other. Or two suits for the same together. So what I did was is I went ahead and wrote them for you guys before I started here. So that I can show you exactly how I did it. But before we get there, I want to talk about something that um, not only that happened. But I saw somebody else was talking about it. And she was talking about psychics and other readers who are scams and all this other kind of stuff. And if you are watching, I want to say thank you for... Um, the video that you d uh, did, it was really good. And I want to add to that. It's because she mostly talked about the reader's part. You got to also understand, too, as a professional reader, if you're just getting um, used to doing readings and stuff and you haven't encountered stuff like this before, you have to really pay attention to clients sometimes. Because some of these clients sometimes will give you problems you don't even know which way to start, which way is up, which way is down. Because I call them my reader jumpers. Okay, because I remember, I remember in my hairdressing career, I used to call them chair hoppers. They go from stylist to stylist to stylist to stylist. And then they talk about each stylist. That one talks about that one. This one says, everybody's always wrong. It's never them. But the hair is a hot mess. So that's the same thing when they come and they do the reading. It's like, okay, wait a minute. When I used, to, I like to ask, when was your last reading? Because first of all, readings is not something that you're supposed to get consistently back one after another, one after another. It's not good. You got to allow when you got your reading 
allow for what was told to you, especially if you want to know something about the future or if there's something that's going on that you're trying to um, get information as far as did it clear up or do you have to do something. Those are different. But when you get a reading, allow your reading to go through. Meaning that whatever the reader told you, whether what's going on with you or how can you fix something and they're doing work to fix it for you, allow it to work. Allow it to, um, how do you say that, uh, come out. You understand what I'm saying? Let, it, let, it, let, let what the reader told you allow for that universe to let to start showing you exactly what the person who did the reading for you start doing. Also, another thing too, as for you, the client, pay attention to how you feel when you come in, either to the person's home or the person's store, wherever the reader is. Pay attention to how you feel when that in information is being given to you, okay? Pay attention to how thorough the reader is and what the reader is telling you. Don't sit there and just say, okay, okay, okay. No, engage in your reading, okay? It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a give and take type of situation. Those types of readings are very good because both people are working. Both is giving each other back and forth. It, and it, it becomes, because it is something personal. It's very personal, a reading. A reading isn't something that you just say, oh, okay, well, it was five, ten dollars or fifteen. However much it costs, I tell you, one time I got a reading from a lady in, in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and she was in the underground um, mall there in Atlanta. And her readings was $10, okay, for a three-card spread. And I gave her the $10. She, did. she was on point, okay, with those three little cards. She told me exactly what I was getting ready to do. And at that time, that was, I remember it, it was 2002. I was just getting ready to get going to go to Haiti on vacation. And she was able to pick it. Do you know that... When I left Atlanta and I moved up to Florida, when I went back up to Atlanta, she was still there. I went right back to her and got another three-card spread. And I said, you still here? She was like, yeah. I was like, you really like it here. And she was like, yeah, she likes the fact that it's a lot of people that's coming through Atlanta, whether they're visiting. She just likes that energy. And she was such a nice lady. And then she even told me again what I was there for. And I was there trying to get some information on somebody that I was dealing with at the time. And she told me, you hear about the lady with the dark hair, huh? And I said, yep. She was really, really good. People like that are not scams. You can't walk around with that, that paranoia all the time worrying about if the person's going to be real, if the person's going to be fake. If the, that's up to you as an adult, okay? Your intuition, that, that part of you that's not naive. Get in there. Feel what you feel. Do you get knots in your stomach? Do you get butterflies in your stomach? Do you get goosebumps? Whatever the case may be, that's your body responding to how you're feeling when this is um, going on. Okay, your reading's going on. So when she was explained to that, I was like, yup, that's how, exactly, exactly. I was glad she made that video. But then she left out is that she didn't talk from the client's point of view. Sometimes your clients are trouble. They don't listen. They don't pay attention to the way you work. Then they want you to do everything for them. And if there's work that has to be done and it's over the phone or through Skype or whatever like that, they're calling you, they're texting you, they're just violating your privacy. You have to let it be known from the beginning what you're going to tolerate and what you're not going to tolerate. And at that point, it's up to them. Another thing too, when you're reading for somebody and you're giving them news that's upsetting them, it, as far as they're getting teary and, and, and it's hitting home so bad, and then they ask you, what can I do? At that point, let me tell you what the best thing is to do. It's the Chris three-day um, thing. I call it my three-day. Two days to let it process, okay? 
Let it let your mind absorb what was being told to you. Write down how you feel. If you feel like you need the help and that you need something done for you so that you know that there's another energy that's involved, then call the reader back and tell the, tell the, call the spiritual worker and say, look, Chris, I decided that I am going to um, need you to help me out on this situation because it's a bit more than I can handle. Now, that's the third day. Now, if that's how you feel, then you've had time to say, okay, I didn't rush into anything. So now, you and me is going to be on the same page. And I'm going to be able to help you. And another thing, too, is, is that if it's something that I'm doing for the first time, I'm going to let you know. Because I don't have that pride in me where I'm going to say, oh, yeah, I'm the bomb. I, everything I do always manifests and all this other thing. Uh-uh. Pay attention to that um, spiritualist, okay? Because we're human too besides our spiritual side. We can make a mistake. And it's up to us to be able to tell that client, look, I made a mistake. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do it over. And it's not going to be at your expense, okay? That's what you need to know. And when these clients, they're hearing that, they're going to know that you're not just after them for their money. And you shouldn't be. That's very, very sad. You understand what I'm saying? And another thing, allow your work to speak for itself. Pretty much, somebody that's not naive, somebody that's usually used to this and stuff like that, they're going to be able to tell about your body language, the way you explain things, the way you say things. All that is a part of it. And then, especially to my new people that's learning about the readings and stuff like that, and I'm talking to those who want to learn it and then start doing it, you know, to the side or professionally or whatever the case may be, pay attention to your vocabulary. Your vocabulary is very important the way you say words, the way you say things, whether it's past, present, future. So that that client can see that you know exactly what you are talking about. And if you don't know what you're talking about, tell the client, look, I, I can't see for you. I, I can't see. I, I, I don't know which way to go about helping you because I can't see. You, you could have an off day where you're blocked or it could be your own spirit telling you that, look, mm-mm. Don't read for this person. Don't get any closer. Just tell them that you, you're unable to see. And then go from there. That's it. But don't get hungry. And what I mean hungry is don't say, oh, bingo, this is going to be a great, my light bill is going to get paid. Or uh, 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 my rent. Or I got to pay my cell phone. And the, no, 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 no. Don't do that because you wouldn't want it done to you. So you don't do it to that person on the other side of the table. Because that's what's giving us readers who really enjoy it and love our jobs the, the problem that we're having. But see, I'm going to tell you, I don't have that problem. Because when that customer comes to that door, I tell them straight off the bat, don't come in here with no foolishness because I'm not going to deal with it. You're going to come in here and we're going to do a consultation, okay? Just like how you go to the doctors, to the attorney, to the dentist, to the social worker, whatever it is, we're going to talk, okay, amongst this reading. I'm going to give you, you're going to make sure that it's correct. If I don't see something, you're going to tell me and I'm going to see if I see it. It's a give and take situation. Or if you see the person staying silent and you see, you could tell by their body language, if you're on point, they're going to start getting, uh, they're going to move. Their body's going to go like this. Or they're going to, all of that is involved in the reading. And as us sometimes spiritual readers, we get caught up, okay, into what's going on. And then we flow, we flow, we flow, we flow. And then the person's like, wait a minute, I no, you know why? Because you didn't tell them to write down the information. Always tell your clients that if they, especially if it's something that's getting to the point where it's like intense, they need to write that down. Because them writing that down, that's their little, how could I say that? Their little, um, how could I say that? That's their little uh, uh, um, reminder about what you were telling them in the reading and stuff like that. Okay, so 
we I just wanted to say that real quick because it, it is it's a rough job. And like I said in my other videos, even being a professional beautician for such a long time, there's nothing that hasn't come in my chair. I mean, nothing. I've had people that, oh God, it's like, are you serious? Okay, and, and a lot of my business was word of mouth. So my clients, they were my business cards. They were almost like my secretaries because they, they would say to them, look, if you go and your hair is damaged and stuff, he's going to cut it. So if you don't want your hair cut or you don't want him to do what he has to do, don't go. Because to save you the time from him having to tell you for himself that he's not going to be able to do it. Unless he's going to be able to start with you from the beginning and then go from there. Don't do uh, patch up jobs where, you know, oh, I don't want it cut, but you could do this. No, 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 no. We're going to start over. And then another thing is they used to say, oh, I want my hair just like hers. Or when... No, 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 no. You can't say you want her hair, you want your hair like hers. That lady's been coming to me for years, every two weeks. So if you don't come in with a healthy head of hair, how could I make you look like so-and-so? So I apply that same thing to my readings and stuff like that. You're not going to come in here and take over. You're going to be sad if you come in here and you think you're going to take over. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay, so now, you see, 16 minutes already, I've been talking. Let's go ahead and go. Like I said, I wrote my thing down before I was going to give it to you guys. And we're going to start moving on from the cards lesson. So that, you know, those of you who are watching and learning and, and going through it with me, that stuff have to start trying to marinate. It's time for you to start trying to figure some of that stuff out on your own. So that when you see I am on a particular part on the video, then you could say, you know what? I, yep, I'm right there with him. I done figured out that already. Or I thought this or that. You should be trying to make your head work by now. Um, like I said also too, always go to other videos too with other people that have their meanings or the, their own style or whatever. And then get that gives you time to give yourself a choice to what are you more comfortable with. And, and if you want to do the way it's more easier for you, then maybe you should go to another reader. There's plenty of um, people to go around. So that's that adult part of you. Make the choice about what it is that you want to do. You'll always notice with me, it's about choice. Because it's a problem when somebody feels like they don't have no choice. So give your viewers a choice. And, and, and another thing too is, is that pressuring people to do work when they're not aware of it. Or that people that maybe can't let their family know is what they're doing. Or their spouse. Or their children. Whatever the case may be. And that person may be at a distance or that person may be where they can come to see you. Involve your client in your work, especially in their work. Let them see the, the way you're working, the way you do things. Because that's so that there's no such thing for somebody to say, but I don't understand, or I didn't see, or I didn't know. Or, you know what? You got to cover your whole whole ass okay cover it up because you do not trust people on their word okay and always ask them when was your last reading okay that's another thing when was your last reading so if they say to you oh it was last week or oh what um <laughs> what you weren't satisfied or what Okay, they're coming to try to see either if you're going to tell them something different or if you're going to tell them the same thing. If you tell them the same thing that that other reader and they don't want to do nothing about it at that point, that's on that client. You at the time as the leader say to yourself, do you want to work with this person or not? It's already telling you that this person has a habit of jumping or they go from place to place, or this is something that they do on a regular basis. Just, just be cautious. Also, 
Ask your spiritual guide. Ask your spirits if this is something you should get involved in. Don't get into that. We, we say in Creole, they call it engagé, meaning that you're at the point where you're desperate. Don't let your desperate um, get in a hole of you because that's when you're going to start doing something because you see the dead presidents and you see somebody, you're like, oh, God, yes, this is my light bill. This is my phone bill. Don't do stuff like that. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't care what your situation is. If you're working with your spirits, your spirits are supposed to, you ask them if this is something that you should get involved in. Even if you do a three-card spread for yourself, okay? Just see what all's going on. Don't, don't let desperation take you to a place where it's, it's not going to be good for you. All right, so by now, you should have your paper, your pen. If you're working with your spirits, you should have your little candle going on, like I always tell you. And um, we're going to take notes, okay? So I hope that the way I'm going to break it down for you guys is going to be great. Like I said, I won't know unless you leave me a message and tell me whether you gained from it, whether you were confused, or whether it wasn't um, given to you clearly, okay? I, I pay attention to stuff like that because I know if I'm studying something and it's, it's, I'm learning something from this way, I, I want to make sure that I'm on board and, and understanding what information is being given to me. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, what I did here was is I um I set the things up as far as like, okay, these are all club people, these are all heart people, these are all spade people, these are all diamond people. Okay, and then I have my aces here, I got my fours here, and I got my twos. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you what happens when suits fall on top of each other and when they fall together the same way. Now, we're not going to focus on what the card means. We're going to focus on what happens when it falls together. Okay? First thing I want you to know is that when you're doing the reading, okay, this is when you get to that point, okay? And you put, you got your first card that comes out, okay? This is going to be what's going to start it off, okay? Now it's a puzzle. It's the first page of the book, okay? Because you're going to start um, doing a little story going on, okay? That's the first page. That's the intro. I call that the intro, okay? Now, the next page, okay? The next page is going to tell me, wait a minute, okay? Now, the next page is going to tell me, that okay what is gonna be the uh, uh what about that what what about the um the introduction what about the um beginning okay this is gonna tell me what about my beginning that card is gonna dominate that card because it's on the top okay and then when the next card comes up it's gonna talk about that card this card's gonna tell me about that card and it becomes like a book the other page told you about so-and-so. Now this is going to tell you about so-and-so. That, that's what it like. That's what it's like. It has to fall. If you look at it like this, like a book, and then you start going like that, okay? You're still going to be in chapter one. So that first page, that second page is going to start uh, talking about what happened in the first page. And then your third page is going to start talking about what's going on in the second page. If you keep that in mind, you'll be able to learn it a lot quicker and be a lot thorough, okay, about it. Remember also what I told you about if you're using all suits like this, that's going to represent a family, then you need to stick to that um, system if that's how you're going to do it. But if these people are not going to be considered family and they're just people with dark hair or they're just fire signs or so forth, so you need to keep in mind of, of that as well. It's all the way you took the introduction of what I was telling you guys. Oh, wow. I just said it. I just said it. The introduction. It all goes back to when I was doing the other videos and I was telling you guys about what the cards mean and who these people are. If you do go back to that video, then what I'm talking about here shouldn't be hard. Okay? It shouldn't be. Because you're going to know who these people are. Okay? And if you do say, well, I'm going to use them because they are the same suit. As family, 
as a couple or as parents to child, whichever way you choose to do it, you have to maintain that. You have to hold on to that so that when you do um, do the reading and it's happening all over, you know who that um, who's those people are to that client that's there. If it's the client um, at all, sometimes you can get a customer who's coming to get a reading about somebody else. Can you excuse me for a minute? Sorry, guys. Okay, I just had to make sure that something was on the stove. Okay, so it, once again, it, it now it starts falling. The ball starts falling in your court. If you follow my system, then you're going to know who these people are. If you're not following my system and you're following something else or your, your intuition is telling you, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and use all hearts as my families, my couples, and, all that, and then go from there. With me, I'm able to see who these people are because you got to understand of the background I'm coming from. I'm coming from Haitian voodoo background, spiritual reading background. These people may not be people. They may be the spirits that the person's coming to get reading about. It's how their spirits are doing. What spirit needs what? What is going on with that person's um, spirit or what that priest or that, that servant, whatever's going on spiritually with that person so these may not be people um for me at that point now i gotta know what's going on with the person's spirit but like i said to you that's all about the experience that's what happens when you've been doing it for so long you're able to say okay well these are the person's spirit especially when they start coming around um a lot of the cards where you're getting for instance 21 points three sevens or you're starting to get like a, a 17 these numbers in the voodoo are very important because they let us know if this person is either on point or everything is going great or if they need to do so and so in order to get to a point where whether um whether what service they did or what they're about to do what is it that's all considered you know what I'm saying? Who the party's for? Who is the offering for? So that's why I say it, it's going to be different from reader to reader. But what I did was for you guys is I said, okay, let me tell them how I want them to break it down for them so that they can understand what I'm talking about. So let's start off with the hearts, okay? And like I said, no meanings, just suit to suit, okay? And then after, I'll show you how it goes when you start connecting them and what's the storyline it's like that because remember your basics are always going to be needed no matter what how good you get or whatever you're gonna find yourself right back at the basics so if you don't know your multiplication your addition your subtraction you're gonna be in trouble and if you think that there's no math involved in readings you got another thing coming especially when you're doing cards you have to know if you especially if you're coming from a numer uh, num numerology background you're gonna be able to know what happens when you get a whole number meaning like 32 or 21 and you break that down so that you're able to see what the undertone um, of the reading is actually about. Whether it's about spirituality, what if it's about foundation, if it's about karma. All these things change, like I said, from reader to reader. Or if you do it like how I do it. I incorporate everything in my readings. Whether if it's a little numerology, little astrology, or just um, basic um, elements and all that. Everything goes inside of my reading. So it's a lot going on. And also the, for the new people as well, don't uh, crowd your table with a bunch of cards and trying to go through it to try to see what does it mean. I've even seen professional readers too. They'll do either two cards or three cards at a time and then they'll go and they'll go because I'm going to tell you, sometimes when you do put all the cards on the table, it will get overwhelming. You'll be like, oh my God, where do I start? Especially if you're a person who doesn't stay organized and stuff like that. So when you see all the cards, you're like, woo. Okay, but if you do it where you understand that when you're in past, you're talking about past, 
That means the other cards that's over here, it you shouldn't be there. Okay? You should be right here at the past. And then if you're talking about your present, leave the past alone. Then when you finish with the present, then you go to your future. It all depends on what you're doing. If you're doing a reading for somebody who either you don't know or they haven't came to you before and you want to know how this person is or what about this person, then past, present, future is always a good way. Or you could do past and then you could do present. And then you could do another row, or another row that connects with the present, and then you'll do your future. It all depends on what's going on. So anyway, let, let's let's go. Okay. So for instance, uh, you see heart over club. You see that right here. Okay. So now I put for you guys. Okay. I hope you guys taking notes. If you are great, but if you do it like little brackets, like I did for you guys, I put heart plus club. Okay, and then I put two parentheses, and then I put a dash, okay? And then over that, you could put R plus B, means red plus black, okay? To see how, what is it going to be once it's together like that, okay? So, hearts and clubs. Now, don't pay attention to the aces. We're not doing that. We're just doing what it means when it's together, okay? I put for you guys good times helping out or some helping someone out. So you'll know that, remember, the clubs talk about activities, functions, work, um, school, and stuff like that. So now you'll know that this person, this, this card right here controls that one. So you're helping somebody out. That's showing you the emotion that's involved with what you're per helping that person out to. If you're helping them out because they need help, whether it's financially or um, they need help for you to help them move, whatever it is, the activity and then the feeling behind it. That's basically what it means, okay? So now, what if it's changed? Because remember what I always told you, it's the top card that dominates the bottom card, okay? So I reversed it for you guys. And when I did that, like on my paper, I came up with 28 possibilities of what it could mean when these cards fall from suit to suit. Now, that's, a, that's with a 52 card deck, okay? So 52 with 28 different possibilities, that just goes to show you right there that the cards can fall either way. So if you don't know your basics, you're going to have problems, okay? So... Back to this again. I put right here again. Remember, good times. Right there. Helping someone out. Okay? The action and the emotion behind it. Okay? Now, what if our club is underneath our heart? Okay? Now, the heart is dom dominating the club. Okay? Put C plus H now. And then you're going to put B plus R. So it's almost going to look like algebra, almost a little bit. You know how they do with the parentheses, and then you got the F plus da, 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 da. That's what it's almost like. So those of my math people out there who, who see exactly what's going on, and then you'll be able to, uh, if you're going to pick it up a little bit more um, quicker. Okay, so we got now we got good things are happening, okay? There's some feelings either for someone or the situation, okay? So remember, what's happening is the club, okay? And then the feelings is the heart that's involved in whatever is going on there. Like I said, no meanings, just suit to suit, okay? So now we're going to do number two. We're going to do what happens when a heart falls with a diamond, okay? Remember now, our heart is controlling the diamond now, okay? So together, it's going to say happy times. You're going to see right now, not only that it's two reds on top of that, but you're going to be able to see that they, these people are having a good time with what they're doing or between each other. But the situation or what's happening here, there's a lot of love that's being put into it. There's a lot of feelings involved, okay? So... We got that one. So I put for that one, good things are happening. There's some feelings for someone or feelings about a situation.
Another thing I'm going to tell you too, I hope nobody out there thinks that these doing these videos are easy. They are not. When I first said that, I said, Chris, go on YouTube and, you know, try to put yourself out there and so forth and so on. I thought it was a piece of cake. It's not a piece of cake. It is intense. And it's not until you finish it that you really realize you're like, woof. Wow. Okay. So I, I admire now the people that was doing this before I decided to come on um, YouTube and do it. Okay, so now we're going to do what happens when our heart, yeah, our heart is over our dime. I think I said that. I reversed it. Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah, we already did that. No, I'm going to reverse it now. Okay, so our heart is on the bottom and our diamond's on the top. Okay, that's happiness, okay, about your financial situation or just about your money. That's your emotion towards your money, the way you feel about it, okay? Are you excited because you happen to be at a point now where you see that your, the, your finances and stuff like that are stable, okay? Your money, you know, is at a point right now where you're, you're content with it because you're showing the emotion about what it is that is, you, you, what are we talking about? And, we're to, and it's talking about the finance. So that right there will tell you how the person feels about their money. Okay? Now, like I said, no meanings, just the suit to suit. Okay? Now, what if the, uh, the um, oh, we already did that. Sorry, guys. All right. So now we're going to do heart with spades. Okay? Let's do heart with spades. Now. Okay, so now we got our heart and spade. Our spade is on top of our heart. Physical, emotional healing that needs to be done, okay? It may be that the person needs to take a break right now, or maybe they've had some type of operation, or they weren't feeling well, and this is a reminder to let them know that, you know, they are going through some, you know, physical or emotional healing. They knew they knew, do need to take a break if they're having a, re a problem in their relationship or the, the situation. It's time for some healing involved with the, um, the what's being presented at the moment. Now, what if it's a heart on top of a spade? OK, now this is going to tell you right now that there's some type of pain or some type of emotional um, frustration and anger going towards to what's happening. There's pain involved with the situation that's being dealt with. So go ahead and put that there's some type of emotional pain towards the person or the situation that they're dealing with. Okay? So now you should be with me at H plus C, C plus H, H plus D, D plus H, and then we just did Hearts plus spade. Okay? Now we're going to do heart to heart. Okay? Just going to put that, bring this up right here. Now, two hearts. Okay? Happiness. Okay? The person surrounded by love. Whatever it is that's going on, especially if it's a lot of them around, they're very happy at the moment. You know, if they feel emotional support. You know, love is in the air. Great things are happening. You know what I'm saying? So you're just going to put happiness and surrounded by love. Or you are very happy at the moment. Okay? Sometimes the clients come in, they're hurt or they're sad or they're just really happy. It's going to come up in the reading as to what's going on. Okay. So now let's do club with heart. Okay? Club with heart. Okay, nope, heart with club. Okay, so now our club is on top of our heart. Okay, so good outcomes. Okay, whatever, if they're working on a project or if they're starting to develop feelings towards someone or what's, be, what's uh, being presented at the time, this goes to show you that they're taking the action 
to be able to feel through the emotions. This is showing how they feel towards the situation. Or if it was a face card, how they feel about that particular person. Okay, so you know that. Now, let's do if it was reversed, okay? The club on the bottom, hard on the top. Okay, it's going to change. Now, good things are happening, okay? There is some feelings for someone or feeling about the situation. It, it's not that much different from the first uh, meaning. It's just that now the dominant one is on the top of the other one. So we just reversed it. We just did club on top of heart and then club on the bottom and heart on the top. So it's just going to change just a little bit. It's just because the heart is on top of the club. Okay? Now, let's do club to spades. Okay? Club on the bottom, spade, spades on top. Okay? Difficulties around. Okay? They may have gotten out of hand now. Okay, something that the person may have let go on for too long or now they're just realizing that it has gotten bad for them and they need to have something done about it. Okay, so it, it, it's a wake up too. Not only that, look at the color. It's two blacks. So it's going to tell you that there is some type of negativity that's up in the air that this person needs to be aware about. All right, so now let's do spades on top of clubs. Okay, spades on top of clubs. Okay, they're working through. They're working through the problems now. Okay, because here goes the action is the club. Okay, they're working on what it is that's going here. The problems with the spade. Okay, they're trying to do something about it at the moment. Okay, so that right there will let you know that they're just not sitting there looking crazy. They're actually trying to do something about it. Because trying to do is the club. Something about it, the situation, is the spade, the problem at hand. Okay? After a while, sometimes you're not going to need to go back through what it means from suit to suit. You're going to be able to just scan through it and going to be say, oh, yeah, this has something to do with work. This has something to do with school. That has something to do with the family. That has something to do with my money. You, you're going to be able to get there, I promise you. And you're going to say, Chris, you did that thing. It was real nice. I really enjoyed it. Okay? So now we did Space the Club. Okay? You are working through problems. You are trying to do something about it. That's what I wrote. Okay? So now let's do Clubs to Diamonds. Okay? Clubs to Diamonds. Scoot on over over there. Okay, diamonds on the bottom, clubs on top. This person is finally seeing the rewards of all that hard work, okay, that they've put into, whether it's the they did it themselves, that they're either able to now save money, or now they're seeing the money that they did with um, that project that was they working on. Or they, they're able to say, okay, now it's time for me to go and, 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 and invest my money in this. Or it's just a happy time for that person because now they feel in control of their money. Okay? And that's a good feeling. That's with anybody. Anytime we have extras and stuff like that, we're excited. So that's a good combo right there. Now let's change it and let's put the club on the bottom and the diamond on the top. Okay, I wrote for you guys, I put, that, yep, uh, you may want to invest the money now, okay, the, uh, or the plan, or a property, or you may be in the position, in a situation right now where you're looking at houses, okay, this will tell you the, the action, and then what the action is, what they're doing with the action, the diamond, so it, you're going to be able to say, okay, they're doing something with their finances, okay? Or, once again, they're able to save in case a rainy day, okay? So, that was a good one. So, right, I want you to guys write this. So you may want to invest your money to, a plan, to a, situ, uh, a plan or a project or a property, okay? Or business. And so also to save for a rainy day. 
Now, what if we do club with club? Remember, no meaning, just club with club. Now, you're taking some, there we go again, some action towards the activity that you're involved in, or you're just taking action, period. Okay? <clears throat> mm. So, whatever it is that you're doing right now, you're physically involved in it. You're doing something about it. Okay? So, club one, club. Now, when you're writing them, like I said, D plus C, C plus C, as you're writing them, or if you're using flashcards, you're going to see how you got 28 different outcomes within these cards. You're going to be like, wow, are you serious? And that's what I counted. If you count more, then that's great. But um, that's what I got when I did the combos. And I, and I saw that when one falls on the opposite with the other, I saw I got four um, different, um, I mean, 28 different um, outcomes. Okay, so club to club, taking some kind of action towards either an activity or you're just taking action, period. Okay, you're involved. All right, so now we're going to do diamonds with hearts now. Okay, hearts on the bottom, diamond on top. Okay, happiness about money. You're able to show now the happiness over your success. You're happy with what you're able to do. Oh, and then real quick, you are going to come with, it's going to be uh, two suits. Okay, I, that's part of the outcome as well. So club to club and or heart to heart, they are going to come up um, twice. And then if you do your paper over and back, you're able to go to the next one that you already have written if you're doing it that way. Okay, so we have here hearts on the bottom, diamonds on top. Okay, happiness, happiness over success. Okay, happiness over your money, happiness to whatever you're doing when that diamond comes up. Okay, so let's do heart, diamond on the bottom, heart on top. Okay, now, it, you, you, uh, another, it's again, happy feelings, okay? You, you're happy you're, that you're able to stabilize yourself with your finances and your money. You, you're just at a better place at the moment financially, okay? So... D plus H, and then H plus D is the reverse, okay? Now we're going to do diamond plus spade, okay? Our spade is going to be on the bottom. Our diamond is going to be on top, okay? There may be some money problems, okay? Just be careful and don't start stressing out, though, okay? Pay close attention to the way you're spending your funds, okay? Because... It's never a nice thing to see this, especially when this is up like that. Okay, so just be aware of the way you're spending your money and, and try to not um, stress out about it. Okay, so now we're going to reverse it. We're going to do diamond on the bottom and we're going to do spade on the top. Okay, now your finances need improvement. Okay, because right here is the money. And this is going to show you how you need to improve on that area. Okay, so go ahead and write finances, need improvement. Once again, be careful on how you're spending the money. And then don't try to rob Peter to pay Paul. So don't take out of here to go ahead and pay for there. And then you're going to have to do it back over again. So that's going to keep that client aware of what's going on. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and turn our page over or your flashcards. And now we're going to do diamond with a club. Okay? Club on the bottom, diamond on top. Okay? That person is in a position, okay, where they're able to invest their money towards something. Uh, able to either save it. Or invest in property. Maybe they're getting themselves their home ready uh, to get ready to renovating it so that they can put it on the market. Or they can um, uh, do repairs in the house so that they can rent it out. Whatever the meaning is with that card at that time that it comes up, you're just going to be able to know that they're at a good 
um, they're at a good point in their life at the moment where they're able to do this. Okay, so now we're going to do diamond with diamond. Okay, you know this is great now. Let me move this so you guys don't think it's... Um, this is diamond with diamond. Okay, this person is at a point where they are successful and they are able to spend a little bit. Okay, they're, they're seeing that when they pay attention to their bills, they pay attention to their money, that they're able to go for something extra that they want to do. Okay, so financially stable. All right, so now we're going to do spades plus diamond. Diamonds on the bottom, spades on top. Okay, spades and diamonds. Their finances, okay, need some improvement. Now, I'm going to tell you, you are going to see how I came out with this outcomes. If you're paying attention, you're going to see that it just repeats itself. It just repeats itself. And when you pick that up, you're going to say, boom, I'm on the right track. That's when you're going to see. Because you're going to be able to say that the cards switch. They come together. They switch. They go. That's how you're going to be able to say, you know what, I got this. I got it. I know what it means when diamond goes with diamond. I know what it means when club is with club. You know, it's you, it's going to be delicious. You're going to see. Okay? So now, this one right here, you see, I like I said before, Robin Peter to pay um, Paul. You know, you need some improvement in that area with your finances. Okay? So now let's do diamond on top, spades on the bottom. There may be some money problems. Okay? Be careful. You don't overspend, so you don't get stressed out, okay? Pay attention to the way you're spending your money, okay? Or maybe you owe, okay? Just be careful about it. All right, so now you should be exactly where I'm at because I'm, I'm, st I'm still on spades now, okay? So now what happens when spades with spade, okay? Serious trouble. Somewhere around there, you either weren't paying attention or you sat here and something's happening right under your nose and you don't even realize it, okay? Or if the, you see face card or something like that, you'll be able to see that either the person's feelings was hurt or it's just a situation that's not the greatest at the moment, okay? So you should put serious trouble and can be some harm going on. There may be some hurt feelings. Okay? But of course, if you see a heart around, then you'll be able to know that then it's talking about feelings being hurt. Okay, so now spade with club. Okay? Club on top, spade on the bottom. Okay? You are working through the problems. You're starting to do something about it. Okay? Like I said earlier, you're not just sitting there now, okay? You're putting your body, you're doing that movement. The club is the action. The spade is the problem, okay? So, let me drink a little bit of my iced tea. Ooh, something about these videos make your throat dry. Okay, spades plus club, okay. Club plus spade. Okay, yeah. So the difficulties around, you may have gotten, out, like I said, it's out of your hands. And then, you know, you, you're going to try to do something about it. Now, let's do spade with heart. Heart on the bottom, spade on top. Okay? Right there. Physical or emotional healing needs to be done. Okay? Once again, I said it earlier. It may be time for you to take a break. It may be time for you to get yourself together, get your head on right. You know, or maybe you need a break in the relationship. Or maybe you need to take some time off and get yourself together. It will all play out once you see the surrounding cards or whatever the case may be. But it's important that you know that there's an action, like nouns and verbs, action, place, or thing. Things, places, or people. Those kind of things are important. If you notice that how everything in your body, everything that you've learned over your life comes in, 
uh, unfolded in the cards. That's why I was saying in my other videos, once you live these particular scenarios and situations, the more, uh, the, 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 the clear, clearer your readings are going to be. Because you're just going to be like, oh yeah, I remember when I went through that. Oh yeah, the, everything is going to start being familiar. And you're, the way you give it out, they're going to be able to understand what you're saying. Okay, so doing something about it. Okay, so now um, I did the difficulties. Okay, spades with heart, heart on the bottom page, physical, emotional healing needs to be done, taking a break. Now we're going to do spades on the bottom, hearts on top. Okay, it's some type of emotional Okay, pain going, some type of uh, situation they're dealing with that's um, taking so much from them emotionally. Okay, or there is some emotions that's going into the situation, the problem that's at hand. Somebody cares. Okay, it, it, there's, there's emotions on the line because, once again, your heart suit. Okay, so I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done. So, um, if you were confused, or it, I was going too fast, or and even if you got it, just drop me a line or two, and just say, you know what, I'm getting this, and I I, I appreciate it. Or if you're not getting it, and you would like for me to break it down to you another way, just I won't know unless you you let me know. Okay. And once again, I encourage everybody to go to my website at www.odanlawouge.com or come on my YouTube station and subscribe to Odan La Rouge Mystic Channel. That's for those of us who doesn't, um, let me break it down for you. Okay, O-D-A-N-L-A-R-O. U G E dot com or Odin La Rouge Mystic Channel. Okay, um, let me say uh, goodbye to my Asian viewers and let them know that I am gonna do a video that's just gonna be just in Creole. Mde be se di tout moun même si yo nou konkan même si nou pa konkan ma fe lot video ki Creole selma pa bge anglais jitu jitu jitu. Parce que m'vle moun yo ki pa ka kompren angle an, si tou nan, nan za fè sa a fè kat lan, ma espike, mem jam te espike l bay lot moun yo ki kompren sa m'tap di. E pi, sou a yi sien, e pou ou kompren sa m'ap di, ou ka wè ke baga yo fè on jan diferan, ou sou fè l mem jan. Men, fò kompren ke ou gan man bo a yi ti, nou fè baga yo diferan. Nou gan jan nou fè kat lan, Nous pas faire la toute seconde du cacho parce que les yo te montre ni qui j'ai pour me faire quatre là c'est à 34 qui te gagne seulement c'est comme ça yo te montre ni et puis quatre là sorti bien même j'en ca sorti bien avec 54 so besoin de nous consacrer sur nous bénin tu nous besoin qu'on qui est moyen aller dans website moyen na www.odanlarouge.com et puis subscribe sur channel moyen OK Odan La Rouge Mystic Channel. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Peace and love, and see you guys next time. We're going to start doing some spreads, and then we're going to move on from the cards. But you're going to be able to see when we start working with the herbs, the oils, and the different spells, and the different works, how your cards are always going to be a part of every procedure that you do every spell you do every work that you do whatever you're doing and involved where you need to see what's going on without your in, without your 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 mind and you want that that spirit involved in what's going on there goes their mouth that's the spirit's mouth this is what the spirits are saying to, to us through the cards if you read with a candle through the candle if you read with water through the water, whatever, tarot, whatever, that is the spirit's mouth. It's another language that's confirming what you're doing or that's explaining to you what you're doing. Like I said, guys, visit my website and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, peace and love.